Um, good morning for everybody, the distinguished all delegates. I would like to share with you in this moment our experience, how we try to implement the open government partnership principle happened in Pujunugoro. As you know that Pujunugoro actually is only one of 500 sub-national level of district in Indonesia. And also Pujunugoro is part of Indonesian transformation democracy beginning to start from the 1988 up to now. So now in Bujunugoro, living 4.2 million people, but most of them poor. 28 percent they living in poor. But in era autonomy, we have a chance to solve our own problem with our own resources. And this is our problem. And the second problem is slimy lands. So even all the people need a better infrastructure, but most 80% of our road is timid at the times because the sliding infrastructure. And Fujinugoro prone to be flat and broad. This is the sister need to management and mitigation. We have uh, flooding, trying, yearly comes. And also, if, uh, in another hand, we are abundant with uh, natural resources. You know that 20% national reserve for oil and gas is already in Bujulugoro now. And 40%, 44% 40, our area consists from the thick forest. But both oil and forest belong to nation, not belong to region. Uh, in fact, yeah, this in fact, I found that People perception was still not good for the bureaucracy. This, this was happened in 2006, 2007, when many people asking me to run the division, to run, to run for the head of regency candidate at the time. And the financial aspect, budget, not enough. But the previous government spent not for the public service at the time as a priority. The absence of the public communication space and also corruption. There are too many staff officials who indicated a corruption case, low quality of local bureaucracy, public distrust of bureaucracy. So at the time, actually for me, I was born in Bujunugoro, but 20 years I was move to another city because I'm a lecturer in the one university, Muhammadiyah University at Malang. When I see the fact, so I ask myself actually, who am I? Am I to be observer? Really want to be observer? Or spectator? Or commentator? Or maybe I'm a player, to be player. I decided to myself that now I am a player, active player. I have to involve with all the people hand in hand to overcome the problem. So I decided to run for the head of regency candidate. And then I go to all the people. Nine months I go all the people, listen more than talking more. It's is truly is my difficult because I'm a lecturer prefer to talk more than listen more. <laughs> so I try to listen more to understand how the problem, all the problem comes. That's the problem. So I try to conclude to understand that actually this because not disconnect between all stakeholders. People disconnect with the government, government disconnect with the people, 
and people, government disconnect with the stakeholder, business, NGO, social social organization. So actually, it's disconnect because we are disconnect each others. So we weakness. So we, we become a weakness. So when I I was I I, I, I was a fortune then because I'm elected at the times. Not difficult actually, and not not easy to get winner, but and for sure, I'm elected. Now, in my hand, the authority. The first time I think at the times is how to use the government as part of solution, not part of problem. And the secondly, how I facilitate for all stakeholders reconnect. Because in my mind, that, and, I, and I think that because the problem, the problem of disconnect. So I try to, to facilitate how to bring them a disconnect. I think that disconnect for all, connecting all stakeholders is the key. So, but the problem is actually my supporter, my constituent, doesn't want, didn't want me to facilitate the connection because they hate the government. They hate the all staff government. When I come, first time, I realized when I to, to run out of, to, to run my authority, I realized that I need all staff government. So I need them to deliver for public space, for, for, for public service. Instead of fire them, I give them political power. No one will lose his job for six months. But I ask them to be my team. Saya minta to be part mereka of my team. menjadi tim With saya three dengan tiga dengan tiga syarat. Uh, dengan tiga syarat. Jangan korupsi, jangan bilang bahwa ini bukan tanggung jawab saya. Kalau misalnya ada problem, jadi nggak lepas tangan, jangan komplain. Jadi ini tiga alat yang saya gunakan waktu itu untuk And staff saya. Jadi boleh jadi saya tidak korupsi, tidak bilang bahwa itu bukan kerjaan And saya, yang dan kemudian ini saya gunakan juga untuk stakeholder lain. Apa yang saya lakukan adalah yang saya lakukan, saya berikan semacam ruangan yang luas agar mereka bisa berbicara dengan saya karena saya seorang politisi. Saya tidak mau lose a public trust to me, so I have to connect with all the people. They are support me or not support me. I have to connect. So I give them. I give the people my mobile phone number for all the people. I give them the direct access to me. I host the every. I host the dialogue. Dialogue, public dialogue every Friday in one to three o'clock. The Pak Kumara will join in my dialogue. So everyone can. Everyone. We don't no hesitate. It's free to talk everything what they want in front of me, in front of head uh, staff, in front of my wife. So everything they got, they they able to do. Every everything they able to talk in the forum. And also I give my email address, social media address. Uh, so every people can access me directly, actually, entirely. And then at the times, I I continue go around the villages to make sure that I'm really connect with the people at the times. So what happened after three and six months? This is amazing, actually. I never said before. Now everybody, everybody in my agency. Especially in my staff, government staff, they are they are afraid to say no to others. So become more understanding and trust others. And we look to our document, professional document. We evaluate again. Is really correct with with the problem or not? With the public complaint or not? Apakah sudah merespon komplain dari publik atau belum? This as the Example that we in the planning 
under the planning transparency we implement that we give the we call five for the people who, uh, the estimate of revenue in the public delivery vision in the sub in, in the, uh, the village sub village in the district and then we reshow and then we bring the council to get legalized as government regulation it is very fortunate for us that after now Maybe, maybe after four years or six years, uh, five years, so many changing in my agency. I am very happy to see that we realize transparency help us to trust each other. Accountability comes from keeping connection between now and future between us and others to open many possibilities comes. Now we enter the level that we never imagined before. We able to solve the problem better. I would like to show you the three cases. In this year, in the uh, February, we are winner. We are become general winner for disaster management in national level. To manage social conflict in oil and gas exploitation process, you know that it's high risk because it is a onshore process. We have to, to deal with many people at the time. In the last years, we want for the Sustainable Development World engaging people to pay the program programs awarding the Sustainable Development Solution Network United Nations in cooperation with SPSN Indonesia. Furthermore, I would like to show you one example that we deal the problem with the engage the others, which engage the others. As you know that, for many years, we spent a lot of money to build and maintain asphalt road, as you saw in the picture. Anda bisa lihat di gambar ini. But tetapi, the result is continuous damaging of road, damaging of road and construction. I try to know the best way how we build the road. I call for my people at the time. I call the villages. I call that a paving block. You see, as you saw that, asphalt is difficult for the people to hang with the total difficult to overcome the problem with itself. So it's fully dependent on the government. So we decide we invite the expert to make research. It's really compatible or not for the Bojonegoro road. And then the conclusion that from the University of Institute of Technology in Surabaya say that it is compatible. So I decide to use pricing where they use for all the Bojonegoro and the perfect block and really it's a very engaged people because we have four methods constructive methods it means that all costs provide the local government and public block from local government labor, labor costs and other materials from the communities in the second and the third we give message message for the local government for the community and community builds main perfect in this and others public road is built and built purely from by local communities and the result is it is a lot of it low there this is a manufacturing by the businessman but not the manufacturing by the people and now we feel that it is you know that easy to build easy to maintain with with someone and the result now is, you know, our happiness index uh, is increasing. Index we got four ends for, 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 uh, for all happiness. Punya empat Public trust, sign of belonging, uh, corporate uh, revenue, uh, and all. And uh, it is a pillar. It, it, it is made with the same pillar. So, the last slide. The last slide. You know that pumping is uh, made with the same pillar. 
and we really engaging partnership with communication and public program meet with six sustainable development pillar in Bojonegoro Regency. And the last, okay, last, the lesson problem. I would like now. Now we got the lesson to learn from Bojonegoro. What is the lesson I got from Bojonegoro? I would like to share with you partnership when or when partnership will only come